In this video I'm gonna show you how to create a fixture profile or how to import fixture profile or how to create your own fixture profile in Martin Light Jockey. Uh, to add a fixture in Martin Light Jockey we should go to fixture configuration which is in setup. You, if you want to add a fixture from the library, you just search uh, uh, manufacturer and then find the fixture that you need, and you can drag it uh, right to the line you want. Then you choose the which DMX link you want to send it to. Like Jackie uh, Box has two DMX universes, and if you connect two boxes you can have up to four universes so you select which universe you send it to then you can calculate an address you can select the universe from here as well you select the universe then you press find an address it finds the empty address for you it calculates exa exactly three edges or you can set up manually um, I found the uh, an address automatically here then I press OK so I have an address 104 through 110 here um, I, if I want to create my own fixture I, I go I, I select user definable then I choose generic fixture 2 that particular fixture has 32 channels and then you can create your own profile and adjust the channel uh, the amount of the channels from there so as for now I'm gonna find an address for it for example I want it on uh, universe uh, 4 find an address ok save and uh, clear for data from new fixtures yes ok and I close this then I have uh, the new fixture I can just drag it anywhere in the area and drop it there I have this user fixture then I can uh, press right click of the mouse and choose define fixture profile from here I can either import fixture profile of already existed ones that I made before for example if I go to desktop I can uh, import a uh, fixture that I created before and it's gonna import it or you can create a new fixture from here like if you're using unbranded fixture you can just easily create a profile for it here you select you you type the brand name for example mpro and uh, the fixture name is spot for example spot 150 LED you can set a picture from here of the fixture or you can load your own picture uh, then you do the intensity basically if you don't have a usually you have a manual with the picture which which has a channel list of the channels that you're gonna imp, in, input here if you don't have a channel list you can uh, select this picture and go to faders and just play with with the faders to find uh, to find uh, each channel what it does and to find how many channels in total you have For example, you have, uh, let's say, 10 channels on, in your picture. And in this one, you, ha you have, uh, in this uh, user picture, you have 32. So you, you have a way to disable the, f the, the channels that you're not using. You want to do that in order to save channels. For example, if you're going to have a lot of pictures and you if you're gonna use all of the 32 channels you're gonna have some channels that are unused 
and you're gonna lose space in your universe. Light Jackie, when we do the when we do the fixture profile, somehow they made it so the fixture the channel starts from zero, not from one, two, three, four, five. They start from zero. So zero channel zero is actually channel one. So all in all we have 32 channels, but it says here that we have 31 channels plus zero. So we're gonna start disabling. When I go to Fixture Definable, I select uh, the tab Levels, and from here I can disable the channels. I select Channel 31st, um, I disable it, 30 is disable. Actually, I think I can just select uh, by pressing Control and selecting them. Let me try. Disable, yes. So you press Control and you start choosing the fixtures that you want to disable. I disable uh, channel 10 as well. For example, we have 10 channels. Because right now, you see, I disable channel 10, we have 9 plus 0, so we have total ch 10 channels here. So I apply, I saved it. So right now, we have... Uh, Instead of 32, we have 10 levels here. Then you find what each level does. For example, if the first level is a shutter, you go to Fixture Definable, you go to Intensity Lamp, you, you select uh, Shutter, then you say it's channel, if, you, if it's on channel 1, you say it's channel 0. Then the value usually is from 0, when it's closed to 255 when it's fully open in most of the time on the on the shutter value there on the shutter channel usually the stroke channels are also there so we select stroke function and then we choose where our stroke is you can let, just check yourself if you have a picture just check from which value it starts strobing slowly and then till which value it strobes fast and after that if you move one value up it's gonna just it's just gonna be open shutter open so you found the slowest value of the strobe and the fastest value of the strobe and you input it here for example if my slowest strobe value is 109 i put here 109 and if my fastest is 205, I put the value 205 here in the fastest. Then intensity. If you have, uh, then you find the intensity value. Usually, if the shutter is first channel, intensity is going to be somewhere nearby. So probably I would say it's channel two. It's all depend on your picture. So if I have a, a, a dimmer value, intensity value on channel two. I select intensity function and I put channel DMX offset, I put channel 1. Then it starts from 0 and goes up to 255 most of the times. Also, I want to enable Grandmaster intensity so I can control my intensity from here. To do that, I select enable Grandmaster intensity. Also, if I want to do blackout, like from here, to blackout, or I can attach, uh, assign it to the hotkey, for example, a space, to blackout the fixtures, to blackout, to close the shutter, I should select either shutter to be set at zero for blackout value, or dimmer to be set on zero for blackout value. It's all depend on the fixture type. Some fixtures uh, still work with if if the dimmer is up and shutter is down they still work but it's all depend on the fixture for example most of the time i would say you put a blackout value on a shutter you just select value zero so it's going to be your blackout value also from here you can set up uh, where is your lamp is gonna be on and off functions for example if you have a lamp that needs to be started 
at every time before you use the fixture you can select the value and it, uh, um, for example if we have on um, channel 10 we have a lamp set up I can I usually it's like five seconds or five usually I would say five seconds they put they program the fixture so I put five seconds to set up the bulb and you choose usually it's in the manual but you can test it yourself at which value it starts at which value it's uh, you can turn it off and then you select uh, at which channel it is for example I would say in my example it's gonna be on channel 10 and uh, I would say on value uh, 59 my my bulb is gonna start in five seconds actually I think here is milliseconds but maybe you would have to put more here in time but you can test it and then for example my off value is gonna be at 25 I put off value at channel 10 25 set so like that we, we set up the bulb setup uh, on and off for the bulb I click apply to save it and then also if you have a moving head you want to do pan and tilt the, most of the new moving heads they have a 16 bit uh, movement uh, motors uh, on 60 bits but also some of them still if, if some if some cheap fixtures or an old fixtures they may have a 8 bit system so doesn't matter which system you have you just select it here a, a 16 bit system works better more smoother and faster most of the times uh, I found which is my pan and tilt for example if my pan would be channel 3 and my tilt is gonna be channel uh, 5 I found it so most of the time it goes like pan channel 3 then tilt uh, I'm sorry pan fine and then tilt and then tilt fine so if if my pan is channel 3 I put channel 2 here because it starts from 0 as I told you and then in tilt I would put uh, 4 because my channel 3 is the pan fine I apply if it's 8 bit or I select 16 bit doesn't matter and then you have to choose you have to select all of this that you will need for the future for the programming uh, this enables the macro movements and some position presets and to, to use your moving uh, head as a spot uh, as a follow spot there there is a function in the light jockey so I click apply so I have my intensity I have my movements right now then I have to find the colors I can uh, you select the uh, enable color one you can have like multiple color wheels or you can have an RGB uh, or CMY color mixing system for example if I have a just simple color wheel on channel uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, on channel 7, right? Uh -huh. so I choose here I input channel 7 I, I can mark it as colors and from 0 to values are from 0 to 255 I click apply even right now when you before when it was just a generic fixture you could still use the fixture with the faders and program you can still program this with just with these faders but when you uh, actually set up a profile from here add all the values then you have those icons where you can do strobing shutter which is just more comfortable and everybody can access it easily and they know what it is you know this intensity is here you don't you don't have to just uh, think what what is here and just uh, do random stuff you know exactly what is here and the movement movement you always need to add because the 
otherwise you would not be able to do macros create uh, movements here um, what else uh, okay so I, I, I I'm setting up the colors you can either do the just fader with all the colors but it is better to do the to add each individual colors in here so you don't have to think at which value which color is you would see exactly the icons of each color and you just select it and it's right there to do that you have to add color palettes here I select first line I go to colors first one of course is gonna be white I select white color I press OK and I select the value, value is gonna be zero I press enter then I, uh, it, it, it moves uh, straight to the second line I select color I would say the second uh, color would be red I select red and I say you have to check at which value which colors are work so I would say my red color is on ch uh, on channel uh, we know it's on channel 7 but it's on value 15 that's when I raise the value of channel 7 and it, 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 it switches from white to red at value 15 I press enter so right now you see my white is on value 0 my red is on value red oh I'm sorry no my red is on value 15 and then for example if I want blue color to be next I say my blue color is on value 30 and you can continue like this when I press apply you see the colors added here so when you move the value the colors are moving so you select uh, red and it goes exactly with the value to the red Also, so you continue as this uh, to enter all your colors. Also, you can add another function here on channel seven. Uh, we have, we can add like color. Uh, it is uh, just mark it as scroll. Um, usually, most pictures has like after at the end the last values. For example, I would say 200 something to, to, to 255. Uh, they have a scroll function of the color wheel just going scrolling. So it starts from slow and uh, as you raise the value, it begins moving faster. So you can add that option. For example, if your scrolling starts from uh, 280, uh, uh, from 208, you enter 208 the beginning and 255 is the max value here so you have an option of scrolling so we can put in the colors we can do just do 207 so right now all the colors are here we're just switching through the colors and then we have another function here is scroll you select and it starts the color wheel starts moving slowly then you as you raise it it starts moving fast so you can add that as well if you have a CMY picture or RGB picture there is an option to enter the your channels here so it's from 0 to 255 and you select which uh, which is your R, which is your green and which is your blue in RGB or if seen why it's cyan, magenta, yellow you select on which um, uh, channels are your color mixing systems uh, then you enable seen you can do RGB hue control with this one you have this option you see you can just change colors like this nicely through the hue function 
so for example we don't have that in our picture uh, then what else you can do ah, of course goba goba it works the same way as the colors you can enter the goba wheel here the channel and then you can enter each gob uh, each uh, picture of the gobo here you can find a lot of uh, gobos in the library already I select bitmaps let me see yeah bitmaps it has a lot of gobos you can select for example I have this gobo I get this here I get that the one to the second I found you can find similar, you can find the exact one as you have in your picture. You can add this and then you put the values 12, 30, for example. If my values are this 40, press apply. Ah, I have to put the channel actually. The channel would be 8 for the gobos from 0 to 255 oh I put in the wrong uh, here is 0 here is 13 oh not here and the first one 13 enter then 30 enter and I click apply all selected features uh, then if I go to Gobos here I already have these pictures of the Gobos this is very useful to do the profile to create your own profile when you have a unbranded picture or you don't know the channels of the picture or you don't know what is the picture if you cannot reach it you can just find the channel at which channel it is and just try to create your profile and still operate that picture or if if the li if your library of your Martin Lijak is outdated and that picture is not added to the library you can uh, create your own here um, what else we have we, uh, uh, here is focus function uh, you just find at which channel is your focus you put it here and from 0 to 255 same with zoom, same with frost, same with uh, iris. Uh, there are some extra beam control functions. Uh, you can add uh, fixture reset functions you can add here if you need that. Or you can just know which channel it is. Um, levels, actual levels you can um, name them here. For example, here I don't even see what what. For example, this channel, which which channel number it is? I don't even know because it's not marked. I can just mark them. I go channel zero is channel one, channel two is channel two, uh, channel one is channel two, ch channel uh, three I can mark for example colors if I want. Call and. Uh, I apply and you see it's marked here one two call you can mark all of your colors here in the, on the levels um, yes, you can add uh, as, as you probably your feature would have some extra uh, levels uh, channels that you want to add here like some effect or something you can use this in effect control I would say that's it then you can uh, you can start using your picture you can then export this picture uh, by pressing file save profile as you select where you want to save it you enter the name and you save then you would be able to import it in future um, or you can import uh, a profile from here for example load profile I go to where I have the profiles previously made for example spot 90 watt I import it here and it's here already imported. Apply. 
you see it's already added here so that's it I don't know if I missed anything but I think I covered the main points of creating a fixture profile in Martin Light Jackie so uh, thank you for watching and good luck with your lighting